Hi, Tyler. My name is Emily Sterling. I'm your VR counselor for today. Okay, sounds good. Is it okay if we talk about some of your job goals today? Yeah, that would be just fine. Um, I've always been fascinated with uh, games. Uh, specifically, I want to be a game designer and be able to sell them uh, as a business. So I've been trying to be involved with that. So that's my job goal. OK. Um, what experience do you have so far with maybe video game development or computer stuff? Really, uh, my experience as far as actually been just myself actually playing the games and being involved with that. I haven't really delved into the development of things like that. Uh, right now I'm taking some general education classes. Um, I would like to transfer down to Utah Valley University. and I think they have a, a program there and I want to start learning specifically gaming from Utah Valley University. Okay. Did you take a lot of well, tell me actually about some of the general ed classes that you're taking now and how they're going. Yeah, most of my classes are doing pretty well with. Um, specifically with my math class, I'm kind of struggling with that. And I think that gaming design is actually related. I know that that field is he uh, heavily uses a lot of math type of skills, so I realize I need to focus and improve my mathematics skills for the gaming field, but I'm working on that. Okay, I think that's a really good goal. What math class is it? Is it a 10-10 a class? This semester, I'm a freshman, and so I'm taking 16 credits. Um, I've taken some classes previously, so I have about 24 to 25 credits in English and various topics. And Trent's actually re we're, um, asking the question again about the math class specifically, which class it is. Right now, I'm in Math 920. Um, that is a, a basic introductory math class, as you might be aware, so. Okay, 16 credit hours is a lot. Yes, that's, that's very true. People often mention that 16 credit hours is a lot, but right now I want to take a lot of classes. Hopefully later I will you know, take a little less, but right now I want to get as many in as I can. That's understandable. So the goal then is video game designer and you understand that math is a big part of that and that it's one of those challenges that you're going to have to meet at school. 
Are there other options that you've also explored that might be in the same area that you might like to do? Really, right now, that is kind of my goal, is uh, gaming design. But other options, I need to, maybe I need to do some more research about what other options are out there. Um, I, the reason why I want to start with the gaming design, um, because hopefully maybe I can start learning the process with a specific company and then build more experience and build my skills and qualifications and hopefully specifically go to gaming design. So maybe I can get in with a company and work my way up to that as a designer. Okay, that's a really good plan. I, I I'm glad that you've kind of worked it out from the bottom all the way up to the top. And I think it's great to be thinking about some type of plan B that you can also do. Because I don't, I think most people when they go in and they do some type of training in college, they don't always end up staying with the thing that they choose first. Sometimes they find other things that they love to do while they're there. I know I did. Yeah, I agree with you that people, you know, start with one goal and then maybe work to another goal. Again, I think my vision too, as I've mentioned, that I think too that you should enjoy your work. I think that's definitely a priority of mine that I, I want to keep doing. If you don't enjoy your job, then there's no point in really doing that. And I love gaming and I love that type of aspect, so I think that field is where I want to be and I want to be involved with that field. So that's, I think, my reasoning behind having this job goal. Okay. Have you met with an academic advisor about what classes you'll need to take in order to get there? Really, I haven't uh, specifically been with gaming design. Salt Lake Community College doesn't have that specific major. Um, but I have met with um, a previous VR counselor who actually gave me um, some information about a program at Salt Lake Community College that is like graphic design. They use video and making logos and things like that for t-shirts and stickers. I don't know if that major would apply. If it doesn't apply, I need to look in that some more. And again, I think I'm going to transfer down to UVU. I've heard it's the best, the best uh, university for gaming design in the state of Utah. Um, if UVU can't um, 
can't um, take me there or it doesn't work out for me, then I'm probably going to go to Gallaudet University. However, I know it's very expensive. Gallaudet's in Washington, D.C., and it, the tuition's definitely higher. So I do need to look into it more and do some more follow-up. Okay. It sounds like you've done a lot of research into your goals and that there's some more research that you want to do, and maybe it would be helpful to talk more with the people at UVU about what they require so you make sure all the classes that you're taking count and maybe you don't spend any time on classes that aren't going to be of any use to you. I really appreciate your passion. I can tell you like what you're doing or what you're headed for. Yeah, I do understand that makes sense. Again, I, I agree with you, and I know that UVU does have a specific program, and you're right, I should just go there and check with them. And again, I'm trying to work within the VR system, and I know that part of my, what my other counselor has told me is that I need to make sure that I'm getting good grades in Salt Lake Community College before they're willing to transfer me to UVU. So I think that's what I'm trying to do right now, is kind of just prove myself within the college setting. Okay, and are you getting the accommodations that you need from the School Disability Resource Center? Has given him. Well, really right now, I do have some pretty good interpreters. Um, I know them and, and they're doing well. The challenge that I am having is uh, note taking. Um, it's hard for me to follow the interpretation as well as take notes at the same time. So I think I'm, it's causing me to be a little bit behind and I think my grades are kind of suffering because of it because I'm not being able to take good notes. I mean, a person who can hear, they can take notes at the same time they're listening to the lecture, but I'm having to watch the interpreter as well as take notes. So that's one thing I don't have that I feel like I need more support with. Okay, that sounds rather frustrating. Have you talked to the Disability Resource Center about if you might qualify for a note taker? I haven't asked yet, um, and thanks for reminding me. I, I should be able to do that, and I'll do that soon to let the, the, the DRC know to see if I qualify for note-taking services. Okay. Sounds like in you're on your path, on your way, getting started. You want to go collect some more information about 
the future with UVU and also checking in with the Disability Resource Center to make sure that you get the accommodations that you need to be successful. What we try to do with each client is help them pick a job goal. And that's the very first step. And it sounds like you have that part. And then once we have the job goal, we look at having you do some research to make sure that it's the best choice and that it's going to be a match of your interests and your abilities and also that it's going to match the job market once you get out. So one of the things you're going to be looking at, for example, with game, video game designer is there are a lot of people who want to do that right now. So you want to make sure that when you go through a program that there's going to be a job waiting for you when you get done or finished. Okay. And I know that, I don't know if you're in the research stage still or if, or if we're helping you with school. Which part, where are you at with your folk rehab process? What are you doing with your counselor? Really, if right now within my VR process, I'm sort of, I've let them know like the first week of school, I let them know the cost and tuition that I had. It says they weren't able to help me, so I'm actually in college right now on my own um, money. But this semester, I, like I mentioned, I'm paying for the tuition myself. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have some books that my friends already have, so I'm just borrowing them right now. And then um, the second semester, we are so that they will be able to cover the cost and help me with tuition. So I have the job goal and I have that in place, but so they're gonna help me next semester. Okay, so it was, sounds like it's taken, it's been a process to get to the point that you're at now because you were in, you were in the research phase and now you've got a plan and you're just waiting to put it into action next semester.
uh, really right now my plan is to finish with Salt Lake Community College, finish the general education plans, um, and I'm in the process of working with VR on that. Um, one advantage that I have um, is that my mother actually works for Salt Lake Community College, so I do have some benefits from her being a full-time employee there. Um, so I've done some research with UVU, and Trenton's just clarifying with Taylor about some information, but UVU, um, I'm kind of doing on the research on my own. I haven't actually told my VU, I haven't worked with VR about the UVU situation and the plan for the transferring credits over there. Okay. All right, so it sounds like what you and your counselor are doing right now is kind of making the path that you're going to be following in order to get to that end goal. And one of the, I know that a lot of clients are frustrated when they find that someone else is getting something and that they can't get something or they're getting something that somebody else isn't getting. And it's all based on you. You are unique, nobody else is like you, nobody has the same needs, no one has maybe even the same interests and all of these things that make you is the reason that voc rehab services are individualized. It's all about you. Okay. So did that, I don't know if that helped explain the process any more to you. Do you have further questions? I do understand and that does clarify it. Thank you. No, I don't have any more questions right now. I appreciate the discussion and I appreciate your explaining that. That, that definitely gives me a vision of what I need to do and where I need to go. Thank you very much. Okay, it sounds like maybe we can make a follow-up appointment to finish our job development and, and maybe talk about what you might find it when you meet with an advisor at UVU. Is that okay if we end for today and schedule a follow-up? Okay, sounds good. Okay.